And then, on the morning of December 23rd, for the first time since the battle began, the sun appeared. And we looked up to the heavens and just hoped and hoped and hoped for some air support. And suddenly, the weather broke crystal clear. And I'll never forget when those B-17s and B-24s and those P-47s and P-38s filled the skies. And oh, what a comfort they were as they came rushing in. And we knew then that that army which was assembled before us was about to receive a beating. And they got it. That turning point came at Elsinbourne Ridge, scene of some of the bloodiest fighting of the entire campaign. It's amazing to see how the wounds have been healed. It doesn't look the same at all. And yet it looks here as though there is still some mark of the battle in these stumps and ravines, shell holes. Yes, this is the area. And that's the view which we looked at so many times through field glasses. There's the town of Kringkeld. And there's where it fell down in the draw from which they launched their tank battle. of the thing, and also how serious the situation was when we saw that our engineer buddies, the crooks, the bakers, and the company clerks, had rifles, and they were out on the line, working, fighting, firing Browning automatic rifles and machine guns, trying to keep the infantry and tanks from coming through. One medic came in with a jeep, picked up one of our boys and tried to carry him out, but the shells on them both. It's on that hill that I learned to love a flock. Nearly 15 years of ministry in the Assemblies of God. And I see that Elson Warren Ridge was a great training ground. On about the third day, the Germans decided that they were going to break through us at any cost. They opened up with one of the worst barrages that I've ever experienced. George Kirk was blown to bits. One minute he was with us and the next minute he was gone. Perhaps we, his widow, and his fatherless child are all asking the same question, why? 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 But we must submit to the purpose of God. Spilled blood, torn flesh, blasted spruce, and Christmas all came at the same time. To this day, I hate Christmas trees. Just the smell of a little spruce or pine pitch brings back all these memories.